Hi, good day, this is Dawn Connors, and I thought I would put together a video that explained a little bit more about forbearance. I'm getting a lot of questions on what is forbearance, is it right for me? If you are not working and not bringing in income and you cannot afford to make your monthly payments, then please contact your servicer. Be prepared to wait though two to three hours on the phone and have an initial conversation with your mortgage holder. It is important to know though that forbearance is not forgiveness. So when you call them, you're gonna to wanna to ask some specific questions. So the first key is if you are struggling to make your payments and you are out of work and the unemployment is not enough for you to survive and to make your monthly payments, then you do need to call and seek out forbearance um, help. However, there are some key guidelines that you should know Forbearance is not for everyone. It should not be used as a tool to not have to make your payments because there's some serious consequences behind forbearance. Number one, back in 2008, 9, and 10, when people filed for forbearance um, with Bank of America, Countrywide, and some of these other servicers, they marked them late, 30, 60, 90 days late, because you're not paying within the guidelines of the mortgage. By doing so, it eliminates your ability to finance in the future for the next few years and also to sell and to buy another home using mortgage financing. And it also could decimate your credit report. So question number one, how will this be reported to my credit report during the 90 days? Question number two is since forbearance is not forgiveness, when are those payments going to be due and payable? What I'm hearing from, for example, US Bank and some of these other servicers currently is that you have a 90 day no pay agreement. And then on that fourth month, all three payments plus your current payment is due. Well, how are you gonna make that if you just went through forbearance? And what happens if you can't make all four of those payments on that fourth month? So that's question number two. Number one, will I have late payments reporting during the time of forbearance? Number two, what happens if I can't pay all four of those payments? Will I have late payments then? Will I have a 120 day late payment that shows up on my credit? That's typically what happens. Um, and that would make you ineligible to finance with any other one and just stuck with your current servicer working out terms and conditions with them. Um, in some instances, I've, I've heard that the mortgage can be, the payments are put to the back of the loan. What are the ramifications for that? Are you gonna have late payments? Are you gonna have incurred interest? Are there extra fees associated with this forbearance? So it's important to know that forbearance is not debt forgiveness. These mortgages, these companies are still gonna want their payments and it's just a restructuring of the loan. And then how does it impact your credit is hugely important. My heart goes out to you if you are currently unemployed, if you have job loss and loss of wages and you need forbearance. If you are able to make your payments during this time, make them. That's the best thing you could do for yourself and for preservation of your credit. This is Don Connors from Mortgage One. Please um, ask me more questions. And in this, um, I have a link for you to look at for uh, Fannie Mae forbearance help so you can get more uh, information on the latest press release. Thank you.